Yo, hey guys, what is up? It's Mel Gaming here, and in today's Friday 13th video, we're going to be talking about some new stuff. I realize I'm probably like one of the last F13 YouTubers to make this video, uh, but I, I've just been so occupied with school. First two weeks of school just got done with, uh, and then got done with all the homework, and now I can finally breathe again. I'd also like to uh, quickly apologize to all the new subs. We went from 7.30 to, I think we're at 8. 31 right now pretty much overnight uh, so that's pretty awesome I also noticed that the making kids cry video has a little over 13k views at the time of me recording this uh, so quick thank you to uh, all the support and all the new people from that uh, I think the I think the like to dislike is uh, 150 to I think like 17 or 18 so once again just thanks so much for all the support guys um, I at the time of making that video I didn't really see see it as becoming as controversial as it did um, but apparently it it is really uh, uh, so if you guys haven't seen that yet it'll be in the description down below if you guys want to go check it out uh, but time to get into this video like I said guys I'm sorry I'm so sorry about the the insane lateness uh, of this um, but if you guys haven't heard about it then hey you're about to learn something new all right so if you guys didn't know uh, the gun media, gun media, or the creators of Friday 13th, the game, they had a website and they have completely revamped it. I think they did it on like the 23rd of August, 24th of August, um, and people were making videos of it like the 25th and the 24th, and here I am on the 26th, like probably the last person ever to do it. I mean, hey, let's just let's just get done with it. Um, so yeah, like I said, they revamped their website and I actually made a video a while back, uh, kind of talking about uh, a little theory I have. Uh, for the next new Jason, uh, if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description down below. Uh, but we're going to talk about some of the other new stuff. Um, so I'm going to try my best to like have pictures of these things on the video. I'm going to try to like import them from my flash drive or something. But uh, I'm just going to be reading them from my other monitor. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully I can have a picture of them uh, up for you guys. Um, so we're going to be starting with... Let's start with the counselor clothing update. And I'm going to be reading it, but like I said, hopefully I can have a picture for you guys to follow along if you want to follow along. Alright. <clears throat> with the new counselor clothing update, players will have much more control over what they want to wear as a counselor. Our old clothing system was pretty limited, only allowing you to choose between various material and color options for the default pieces of clothing available on each counselor. We understand that as counselors you want to look your best, so we have been hard at work on a full revamp of the clothing system which now provides much more control and customization. This revamp includes a new streamlined clothing user, user interface. We know the old one was pretty clunky. Uh, sorry about that. And behind the scenes involves a system for swapping in and out skin mask and clothing meshes. What this means for you as a player is that you will be able to choose brand new outfits in addition to the default ones and also customize the look of each piece of clothing within each outfit. To pick your new threads go to the customize screen for your favorite counselor, Chad obviously, <laughs> and select customize clothing, pick the outfit you would like to customize and then here we have a little picture, like I said I'll try my best to get that in. And uh, another little key thing that's been added is uh, that you can actually rotate your character while you're um looking at their clothes so that's pretty cool you can like uh, rotate them and see how they look and we've got all these pictures I'll try to have in here for you guys alright let's read something else here alright so what's next okay let's read the uh, free emote DLC if you guys haven't heard about this <clears throat> dines and talks to players but don't have a mic perhaps Jason is near you and you want to remain quiet yet you communicate with a nearby player good news we're adding eight free communication emotes with a fancy new in-game HUD slash UI. Players will be able to select emotes per counselor and assign them to our new game in game UI. Now you can wave at Jason just before he kills you. So hopefully I can have a picture of that up for you guys and of course uh, as you guys heard me say it's free so that's good news. Alright so would they have this dev diary thing and I've already watched it a few times. Uh, you guys can look up on YouTube theories and stuff if people have been kinda pausing at certain frames and kinda seeing stuff. Uh, for example there was one kind of zoom out of one of the new maps and on the corner if you zoom in it actually says rain so there's a theory going around that they're, they're going to be adding rain and kind of weather effects uh, I'm not gonna, con going to confirm that though it's just a theory uh, kind of a rumor going around so take that as you will <clears throat> alright so 
All right, the new fast-paced maps. So in addition to the one brand new map and brand new game mode, by the way, I forgot to mention that. If you guys watched that Dev Diary, one of the uh, developers actually mentioned something about a game mode, and he didn't say much about it besides it'll be coming soon. So I actually forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. Uh, in addition to that, the new game mode and map, there's actually going to be three alterations of our current maps, which is Higgins Haven, Higgins Haven, sorry, uh, Crystal Lake, and Pakenak. Uh, basically, they're going to take those three and make them smaller and more fast-paced. Uh, let's just go ahead and read this. Hopefully, I can have a picture up on the video for you guys of it. <clears throat> want faster matches, but maybe you want to start a match with just a few friends and not a full match of eight players. You're in luck. We took the classic Higgins, Pakenak, and Crystal Lake maps and resized them. New loot locations, vehicle spawns, and escape locations. Get ready for fast-paced, machete-swinging fun. We started the production of these maps two months ago before the game launched. Creating new maps is a very long process. It takes months and months to lay out the level, create new assets, spawn points, players, items, buildings, cars, etc., and work on the lighting. Then we have to balance each level. Balancing takes the longest to get dialed in just right. We have to look at counselor stats like stamina to adjust the distance between cabins. You can't just stick cabins slash camps just anywhere. If these aren't properly balanced, then you, then you have counselors either running out of stamina long before they are close enough to a structure, or you have players that can run from building to building without losing stamina. But that's where these smaller maps become really, really interesting. We kept all the counselor stats and Jason abilities and cooldowns the same, but that's that's about where the similarities end. We didn't simply shrink the map and call it a day. We rebalanced for the smaller map, changed up spawning spawner locations, changed where parts and the car parts and cars are, as well as cabins and camps. You'll still find the bigger structures and familiar locations, but don't get too comfy. Smaller maps might mean you don't have to hunt long to find an item, but it also means Jason has a smaller area to hunt you. And of course, that's going to be free. And once again, all these, by the way, don't really have a kind of release date. Uh, all of them just say available soon. So I'm not going to throw my hat in the ring and give a date and it just be completely wrong. We're just going to go with soon, guys. Sorry. Alright, so. Alright, so let's get into the good stuff. Oh, wait, wait. Not yet. We've got one more. Alright, we've got one more here. The Night Spring Break 1984 Clothing Pack. It's spring break at Camp at Camp Crystal Lake, and the counselors have decided to break out their trunks and bikinis. That's right, campers introducing the Spring 1984 Swimsuit Clothing Pack. Hopefully, I have a picture of, uh, of this for you guys. So, this one is actually not free, but it's actually not bad. So, the regular price is $3.99. But for a limited time, it's 50% off. So I'm assuming um, about about the time it comes out, I guess it'll be $2, but then later on it'll be 4 And that's that's actually a really good price. Uh, so like I said, hopefully I'll have a picture up of that for you guys. And once again, the um, it says coming soon. There's no verified date or anything like that. Okay, so let's talk about the new playable map. I already talked about it a little bit. Let's just go ahead and read this. And hopefully I'll have a picture of it. Did you guys really think we weren't working on new maps? The previously announced smaller maps were just the start. We have new maps already in production. With this one coming sooner than you might think, this playable map is ripped straight from the films. Stay tuned to see the reveal of this new map. Now, earlier in the video I said I had kind of had... I made a video theory... Theory video about the map and the Jason. So once again, if you guys want to see my theory on that, I'm not claiming it to be right. I'm not even claiming it to be close. It's just my personal theory. You guys can check it out if you want. It'll be down there. All right, so we've got... Let's go ahead and talk about the new playable Jason then. All right, so there's like literally nothing to read here. I guess I forgot about that. So, yeah. So, yeah, if you guys want to hear about the new Jason, check out that video in the description uh, where I talk about him a little bit and who I believe it is. All right, so let's read this. So new counselors. This one's pretty cool. This one's I'm pretty hyped about this one. Two new counselors added to the roster. Fresh meat for our mask wearing friend. Will these be totally new counselors walking the shows of Crystal Lake for the first time? Or will we or will we be welcoming back some familiar faces to Camp Blood? Hang around here and on our social feeds for the announcement. So you guys definitely I, I'm following all all of the developers and the Friday thirteenth game community on social media. That's how I'm able to try to make these videos as soon as possible. So I recommend you guys do that too. Okay, so new clothing pack. Oh wow, that's interesting. I'll have it. I'll do my best to have a picture of this up. It says, "Oh come on, everyone likes a secret, right?" Okay, so we've got nothing on that at all. Um, gruesome new kills. Let's read this a bit. 
All right. All right. All right, so I'll try my best to have a picture of this up for you guys. <clears throat> Let's see. So, we are adding new kills for all Jasons. That's right. All Jasons currently in the game are getting new kills added. How many kills do you have? Stay tuned for more information. But here are some still images from our recent motion capture shoot with Kane Holder, uh, Ryan, and Kira Lee. Sorry for not, if I pronounce that wrong. Pretty sure they all needed some aspirin after these two grilling days. So if, I've actually seen some footage of this uh, mocap session, so you guys uh, definitely be sure to check that out. I'll try to have a link in the description um, of the uh, footage from the mocap session because it is all pretty awesome. All right, so let's go back here then. All right, guys, that's it. Um, like I said, if you guys want to watch the dev diary yourself, I'll try to have that in the description as well as well as the uh, mocap session. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to leave a like. It is much appreciated. If you're watching this later on and you're not yet subscribed, be sure to do so for daily Friday 13th content. Uh, also, my Twitch is down in the description down below. I stream daily. I tried my best to stream daily uh, playing F13. Um, so yeah, if you guys have the time and uh, want to come check out the streams, check the description. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.